Okay, now we're at the St. Louis Central Library. This was built in 1912. Cass Gilbert designed it. He also did the St. Louis Art Museum as well as the Woolworth Building in New York City and the United States Supreme Court Building in Washington, D.C. There on the outside, recorded thought is, our chief heritage from the past, the most lasting legacy we can leave to the future. Books are the most enduring monument of man's achievements. Only through books can civilization become cumulative by Frederick Crundon. He was the head librarian for decades. Right over here is Christ Church Cathedral. That's a National Historic Landmark. And across the street over here, you have Soldiers Memorial. That was dedicated in 1936 by Franklin Roosevelt. Opened in 1938. Stiefel Theater is over there. There's that Eagle Inn Courthouse again with the round top back there, the largest courthouse in the United States. This was the St. Louis Exposition and Music Hall. The symphony, St. Louis Symphony played here. And there were three political conventions slated for here. In 1888, the Democratic one with Grover Cleveland was nominated. He went on to win the popular vote but lose to Benjamin Harrison. He had won four years earlier and he won four years later. Uh, in 1896 there was another one that was supposed to be here but there was a tornado, a major tornado that came through here. So they had a temporary structure over there by City Hall which is across the street over there also. Which is modeled after the City Hall in Paris by the way. So this is Beaux Art done by Cass Gilbert. Uh, that also became popular in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And again, we got that basically from France. And we wanted some of that Beaux Art over here in the United States. World class cities wanted that type of architecture at that time. Beaux Art. The third convention was in 1904. It was another Democratic one. Alton Parker was nominated. He got creamed by Theodore Roosevelt. The one in 1896, the convention in 1896, it was a Republican convention, nominated William McKinley. He went on to win in 1896. So two of them were right here on this site. The one in the middle was across the street. So we're going to check out this central library here beautiful on the inside the county and the city were supposed to integrate these libraries this year I think you could check something out if you live in the county and city residents can use the county library from what I understand so let's see what we got here
Hi, good, how are you? I'm just looking around. Carnegie room, Andrew Carnegie, he donated money for this, the steel magnate. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm just looking around. Thanks. Hi. Uh, I'm just looking. Yeah. Okay, thanks.
Hi. Morning. Oh, children's stuff, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the video of the St. Louis Central Library. There again, that's at Christ Church Cathedral right there. You can see the Metropolitan Square building with the green top. That's the tallest. There's a U.S. Bank building through there. Well, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.